I'm tempted to say that the digital divide may always be with us in the sense that it keeps evolving. Certainly, um, that is very apparent from individual to individual, but also from neighborhood to neighborhood and family to family. Equally now, though, we are seeing something of a, a cyber race between the digital haves and the digital have-nots. Um, we are seeing those with access to these services being able to get ahead in the jobs market and in their uh, information uh, and insight and being ahead of the game and indeed in many cases ahead of the markets. Um, in terms of their access to big data and information. And equally, we are seeing some of us who are leading life pretty much <laughs> as normal, as, as we always have, um, who may be left behind and unable to access those same networks and information um, simply because they have less access to the services. So we're seeing something of a race for cyberspace developing here. And in that sense, the traditional digital divide, often used to talk about um, divides between countries and between individuals, that is now developing into something much more significant with much greater impact for determining the future prosperity of individuals, families and countries.